Working with Oracle Managed File Transfer. The first thing you see is the Oracle Managed File Transfer Monitoring Dashboard. The dashboard has four sections, Deployment, Transfer Instances, Source Instances, and Target Instances. Let's look at the Deployment section of the MFT dashboard. Here is a bulk order transfer entry. When I select it, you can see some information about deployment, such as it was deployed twice and it has runtime dependencies on the bulk order FTP source and the file target. With the entry selected, you can do things such as undeploy or disable the deployment. If I click Disable, it asks for some comments. I can disable this transfer temporarily, and I would do that if I know a point will be down for some reason. I don't want to disable it, so I will click No. Back at the MFT dashboard, I will look at the Metrics pane, which you can reach by clicking the dashboard link. And I will view the metrics for the last week. Here is a view of all transfers that happened in the specified time period. This shows the transfer artifacts and not the sources and targets. You can see the most active transfers here, and this is useful if you want to see what is taking up a lot of resources. You can see the payload file size, the transfer speed, and the total transfer time, which is in average, minimum, and maximum increments. So using this dashboard is a good way to see what percentage of transfers are failing or succeeding. Additionally, there is a recent error section that is like an audit log. I will click one to bring up the instance flow report. There are details available in this instance flow report. The icons here show that the target has failed, and the associated transfer and source are in a warning status. The details show the cause of the failure and a suggested action. This shows a SOA target failed. This report is where diagnosis or root cause analysis is exposed. Looking back at the dashboard, we have a component called File Finder, where you can see recent transfers. You can filter and search for files that start with MFT. This file entry shows its status and that it successfully completed. The source goes back to the same report that shows the file name, where it lives, the source name, status, and endpoint location of where it came in. You see that this came in from an FTP server. These are the transfers that are associated with it. This is more advanced information about IDs, such as the user who sent it. Next, I will choose a file to transfer. For this example, I use the Firefox FTP client, but Oracle MFT supports a standard FTP client or a secure FTP client such as SSH or SFTP. It is important to note that MFT uses the WLS security layer or OPSS and Oracle Identity Management so the MFT FTP users can be mapped to LDAP. Most FTP servers authenticate using standard operating system user permission, which can be a serious security issue. I have a folder that is set up for the transfer. Notice that the file name is a .xml.pgp.zip file. The transfer looks at all files with a star.zip filter, and it uncompresses the file and then decrypts the file. The resulting transferred file will be an XML file. Now that the file is transferred, let's look at the Active Deliveries section. You can see the two different targets, SOA target and file target. The end-to-end -end flow of sending files to two different endpoints is called fanout. If I click on the SOA target, I can see information about the target instance. This shows the location, the endpoint, and there is a target pre-processing section that shows the file was decrypted. You can see this XML file is what was sent across. Now I'm looking at the SOA Suite Fusion middleware control to see the SOA composite. You can see the flow trace and the payload content. The payload shows the MFT WSDL contract, which has an FTP reference. Instead of sending a large file as an attachment or inline, you can send an FTP reference, which makes it very small. You can create Beeple processes that are faster and use less memory. 
the Beeple process would take that entire message and dump it into the database in case it had to restart and go back to a checkpoint in the Beeple process. By keeping this small, restart is trivial to do. There is a lot of information in the payload file, such as a header, file name, filter used, file size, user who uploaded the file, link back to the MFT console, and more metadata that helps with decision making, such as manual task approval. In the instance view, the flow trace shows the managed file transfer. Clicking the MFT link takes you back to the console that shows the origin of the file. The fanout symbol shows the file target and so a target. The summary shows an audit trail of the file. The file target shows the actions associated with it and is like an audit trail. It doesn't show the actions like decompress and unencrypt. The files reside in the file system and the audit trail exposed in this console is stored in the database. The post transfer notification shows that an email was sent. I can check my email and see that the email that was sent has things such as the file name, user, file size, source name like a partner name, timestamp, and there is a detail link that takes you to the report. So you can view the source from a SOA composite, a Beeple process, or an email. Clicking the source transfer link here shows the two target deliveries, file target and SOA target. Back at the dashboard, the source instances is a summary of all actions and shows the most active sources and source statistics. And you can filter the data. You can use this to identify your most active resources. The graphs and numbers are clickable links, so you can drill down to see the reports for more detailed information. The target instances gives you similar information. So you can see the most active target, status and error ratio, metrics associated with the payload file size, and more. You get a list of instances here. The type column shows that this one is sent to an FTP target, and this one was sent to a web service. In the left navigation tree, you can filter the list. It shows a report of all instances of the transfer, such as the bulk order transfer. It drills down to individual files. I can see the transfer and FTP source. I can see all instances of the system going through that source. And I can page through multiple pages. I see dependencies, the sources associated with transfer, and similar metrics. So we have coarse-grained metrics in the dashboard, but also the ability to look all the way to individual sources. This is a really good reporting feature. So that's how you use Oracle SOA Managed File Transfer.